The CDPH 709 form is used to document the building, floor, room, activity, room dimensions, approved capacity, and the ambulatory status of the patient. The individual's room section is used for inpatient rooms only. The common room section is where you should list the rooms like the dining room and library. The storage section is used to list the rooms utilized for storage purposes. To accurately complete this form, please mark the building where the room is located. Please identify both the floor and room number. The activity section is where you will list what is occurring in the space. For example, if it is an intensive care room, you would list ICU patient room. Next, indicate the room dimension and the floor area. Approved capacity refers to the number of patients that can be treated in this room. The ambulatory section asks whether or not the patient needs assistance walking. The ambulatory and non-ambulatory section is used to identify whether the patient is able to walk without assistance. If the patient can't walk unaided, please mark the non-ambulatory section. If the patient can walk without assistance, mark the ambulatory section. The additional room section is used if you need additional space to list inpatient rooms. Tip time! Please don't forget to sign and date this form before submitting your application packet. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps.